Welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. Be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 154, total 2871 TBS by the letters. Hey, Mike, welcome back. This is a uh, this is the shortest question we've ever had. The question is how to get the totals. Four words, 18 characters. I love that because they didn't give us a lot of detail, which means we're allowed to do whatever we want. Here's the data over here, and some brilliant person along the way decided that it would be great to put the numbers and the letters all in one cell. So 2871, we want to find for all of the TBS entries what those first four digits are. Here we go. Ready? Choose the data. Alt D E, data, text to columns. It is fixed width, and we're going to draw that line in right after the fourth character. Click finish. There we go. We now have the numbers and the categories. Good. Choose that data. Insert, pivot table, existing worksheet right there in G1. Check mark category, which goes to the left. Check mark data. Bam. There's the answers. Short question, short answer. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. That's it. That's the point. Text to columns, pivot table. Oh, man. Fast and easy. Hey, uh, I'm going to try a helper column here. So I'm going to go helper and say left of this comma 4. That'll give me the number every time. Whoops, that's text, F2, some math operation to convert a number stored as text back to a number. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now I'm going to do just a straight sum if. Sum if. The range is going to be the criteria range, Bloop. comma, whoops, I forgot to lock it, so I'm going to highlight the colon F4. All right, so and then the criteria, one cell to my left, relative cell reference, and then the sum range, F4. Close parentheses, control, whoa, that didn't work at all. Oh, yeah, TBS is not in this column, so I want to search for any text string that contains TBS, and since the TBS here has stuff before it. I'm going to join a wild card in double quotes, the wild card for zero or more characters. Double quote and join it. Control Enter. Duh. How about just drag it and click it down? Whoops. That one's not going to work. And you know what? I want to keep this empty just because that's the way it came. Whoa, wait a second. If I look through here as criteria, if the thing was greater than zero, so really what I want is one of two different sets of criteria. So I'm going to say if this cell right here, and I could go equals double quote for empty, but also formula that looks at an empty cell will see 0. So I'm going to put a 0. If it's 0, then I want one set of criteria in double quotes greater than 0 in double quotes. That's the value if false. That's dumping criteria into the criteria argument in sum if. Otherwise, I'm going to run that criteria right there. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. And so now in this cell, it's running, bloop, whereas up here, the sum ifs is seeing that criteria. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, my cool trick with that wild card, but I really didn't like that you had to handle A5, the empty cell. That was kind of kludgy, right? Um, so hey, here's another way to go. Let's uh, make sure that we're allowed to run macros. So Alt T M S for uh, tools, macro security. Make sure that you're not on that top one. Then we can uh, add a macro in here. Alt F11. Uh, insert a module, and you will type this. All right. So we're creating a brand new function called sum text. We're going to pass it the range that we want to look at and the letters that we want to match. And we have to initialize that variable to zero. Look at each cell in the range, and I'm going to build two variables here, my letters and my numbers. I'm going to take that value in the cell and anything that's a digit, 0 through 9, I'm going to append to the end of my numbers. Anything that's not a digit, I want to append to the end of my letters. So we'll loop through all of the characters in that cell um, and then check to see if my letters is equal to what they passed. If it is, then we take the my numbers times 1, that converts it to a number, and add it to the sum text and it'll just loop through all of the values. Now, I was really curious 
what's going to happen when we pass an empty cell, what's going to happen to the letters will uh, that empty cell be equal to in essence quote quote. Uh, so we'll come back here Alt F11 equals some text and we are passing it this range. Now this range I'm going to lock down just like I would in a regular Excel function and then uh, compare it to TBS. So there's our answer there. We will copy that down. Hold my breath for B5 and yes it works. The right answer. Back to you. VBA. Now that's awesome because I can't do VBA but wait a second that text to column and pivot table was awesome. Well okay if you want to do something excessive Remember text and columns, pivot table gets the point. Well, we could do a single cell array formula. Notice we have a helper column here. We'll just simulate that helper column right in our cell. So taking all these numbers and throwing them into a single cell so our formula can look at it. Hey, instead of just a single cell in the text argument on the left, I'm going to give it the whole column F4 and say get the uh, first four characters from the left. If I highlight this whole little bit, F9, you can see, oh, it's simulating that whole helper column, except for its text, Control Z, do any math operation on it, and it will convert it back to numbers, F9. There we have our numbers, our helper column in a single cell. Now, I would like to use that inside of sum if or sum ifs, but guess what? Sum range, criteria range arguments cannot handle array operations. This is called a function argument array operation right there. Sum ifs can't handle it. So what am I going to do? Instead of sum ifs, I'm going to use sum product. Now sum product has array, 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 and you have to multiply the arrays and then add the results. So we got all of our numbers. I just need to multiply it by trues or falses or ones and zeros. So check this out. I'm going to, for the second array, use the search function. The search can actually look in text strings and search for a subtext string. So the text defined is going to be relative cell reference, comma. Within what? Well, that's expecting a single cell. We're going to give it an array. Just as with our left, and I better hit F4 here. When I evaluate this, because we gave it in this argument, however many that is, it'll spit out that many answers, F9. Notice what a search do. It tells you, hey, I'm going to find that within the, the uh, larger text string and tell you the starting position, so 5 value error for the rest of them. Now I can say, are any of you numbers using is number. Now is number is a logical function. It'll spit out a bunch of trues and falses, F9. Some product cannot understand trues and falses, so we have to convert them to ones and zeros. We'll do that with double negative. I should have been clicking down here. Boop, F9, there's our ones and zeros. So one times the number in there, one times the number there. The zeros will zero out those numbers, and some product will be able to add. Control Z, close parentheses. Some product can handle array operations without Control Shift Enter, so I just enter or Control Enter and copy it down. Oops, that's the total with that criteria. It got all of the numbers. So watch this. I'm going to do something crazy. First off, I'm going to use over to the side a little formula. I'm going to say, are you equal to 0? right? And so that will give me true and false. So boom, there's our true. Convert it to a number. And I'm going to put a minus, just a single minus sign, because I want 0, 0, and minus 1. Now I want to actually add the entire total. So watch this. I'm going to, or not add, multiply. I want 0 times total, 0 times total, 0 times total, and then um, minus 1 times total, so it will subtract. But not the total of the whole column, of a running total. So I'm going to come over here times sum and the running total. Now I'm eventually going to copy this and put it in the cell and subtract it. And check this out, the sum function, I'm going to click on the cell 1 above, colon, close parentheses, and come back here and lock this because I need an expandable range. Now the cool thing about the sum function is it will not be bothered with text. If we were doing plus symbols, we get a value error, but no way. Sum function will work just fine. And check this out. 
if I subtract that 25,931 from this 34,000 here, I get exactly 8,974. So I'm going to copy from the top in Edit Mode, Control C, Escape. Come up here, F2, and then my cursor's at the end, Control V, Control Enter, double click and send it down, and boom, there we go. That is ridiculous. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Well, hey, I could keep going on with uh, more VBA, but it was the shortest question ever. It can't be the longest video ever, so uh, let's just call it there. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun.